Hello and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen and today I am making a coffee soap and I'm going to be using the fragrance. It says pumpkin mocha latte but the pumpkin is very subtle. It, you, it just smells like a mocha latte to me with maybe some pumpkin spice. So I know we're coming into the new year and I'm past the ha fall harvest stuff, but this is the fragrance I'm using because I think it smells amazing. I mean, really amazing. So that's the fragrance. What I've got going is I have this very strong brewed organic fair trade coffee that um, I had a cup and I saved a cup and this is gonna go in um, part of the liquid portion of the coffee soap, my mocha latte soap, and I save the grounds. Again, organic fair trade coffee grounds, and I do like an espresso grind. Um, and I like to use brewed coffee grounds because I feel like the color doesn't bleed as much and they're a little bit softer. I want the exfoliation, but not quite so, you know, crisp edgy. I like, I feel like they're a little bit softer exfoliating if you use brewed grounds. So that's going in the soap. Uh, for my liquid portion, I'm gonna be using a goat milk because I like cream in my coffee and I like goat milk soap. So I'm doing a goat milk mocha latte soap. So I've had a small revision in plans here. As I got to making this, I looked at an old coffee recipe I made and I realized I wanted to duplicate that because I loved how it turned out. So let me show you, this is very interesting. Look at the color of this fragrance oil. It's kind of pinky orange, but it says it discolors to a dark tan. Um, and because I'm gonna make a bigger batch, so I used my um, pumpkin mocha latte, and I also added a little almond fragrance to it, and because I thought that's foody and it went with the coffee and it smells divine. So I needed to um, get the correct ounces for the batch of soap I'm making. So that's the fragrance change that I've done. And what I'm gonna do is um, I've got all my oils here. I'm just waiting for my goat milk coffee solution to cool. And I'm gonna pour off just a portion before I add the fragrance in that's gonna be the top, like the you know steamed milk on top of your latte. And I have my frosting comb and I'm gonna do a frosting comb and then put my fluffy um, white topping. I have a little titanium dioxide mixed here that I'm gonna put on the top portion that I split off that won't be fragranced because the fragrance will discolor. So the main portion, I'll put the coffee grounds in the base and then I'll portion off a little for a white fluffy topping. So that is the change up that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go grab my goat milk coffee solution and we'll come back and get this all pulled together. All right, I'm back, and here is my coffee and goat milk lye solution with Tussa silk fibers and some sodium lactate. It's kind of an orangey color. Um, I'm very interested about this fragrance oil to see how we discolor on this. So we're going to go ahead and add this in here. And I'm going to be hand stirring this until I reach emulsion, and then I will split off my top little frothy portion that I'm going to add the titanium dioxide to and then I'll add my fragrance to the bottom and we will stick blend as needed. This combination of fragrance oil, the almond with the pumpkin mocha latte smells really yummy. So I'm gonna stop stirring here and see if any oil rises to the top, just a little. I'll stir a little longer here to get emulsion and then I'm gonna split off my little topping portion here. The majority of it's gonna go in the base and then I just want a little cream topping. And I will only put the coffee grounds in the bottom portion for exfoliant. You know, I won't put it on the little fluffy topping. I might sprinkle a little on top, just for interest. So this will be a mildly exfoliating soap with the coffee grounds. Let me pull this into frame there and portion off just a little for our topping. I think that's probably good. Well, maybe a little more. I don't need to be stingy with the cream. I like cream on my coffee, why not? All right, there's that. Now I'm gonna set this out and, um, whoops, get my fragrant blend here. A little special sauce in. Actually, pull this over. Go. Oh, don't want to waste any of that good stuff. Smells divine. All right, and here are my organic 
fair trade wonderful coffee grounds that I'm gonna just plop in here and again I already have my colloidal oats and my kale and clay as already in here so let me stir those around and then we'll stick blend as needed to get our bottom layer in because I want it to firm up you know so I can use my frosting comb you need a pretty decent firmness on it to get this to really show any detail I've done it too soon where the soap isn't firm enough and it just sort of you know mushes out and it looks wavy it's not real distinct and I want it to I like a crisp um, you know cut out there I'm gonna go to the trouble of using it I want it to look really cute so let me pull this out and I'm gonna stick blend to get a nice medium trace on this We've got a nice sort of medium thick trace on this. Now let me go ahead and get this poured in to our soap mold. 